just a long weekend of filming. Uh, I had like three or four different bands at Bridge City. Um, it was also a holiday weekend, and Haley and I are taking off tomorrow to do some hiking. So that means that I want to get all the packages ready tonight. It's uh, it's like right around 9 o'clock at night, and over this long weekend, slower weekend, uh, because I've been working so much with video, uh, I sold eight items at an average price of $27 each. Um, I have a few things that I'm, I'm ready to list, but it has been just about a week, maybe a little over a week since I've listed, so that's why the sales have slowed down. Um, yeah, here's what sold. This is a Modelo breast pump, comes in a little traveling case. This sold for $28. So a Samsung remote, this sold for $10. This is a Laurel Birch mug. Uh, neat looking gold lion on there. Um, this mug sold for $20. And then right over here next, this is a Turning Technologies, I think that's the brand, um, clicker. And uh, this sold for $10. This is a pretty old uh, Cobra police detector, laser detector, whatever it's called. Uh, this one has like a bunch of residue on the bottom, and it's not that great of a model either. Uh, it sold for $12. This is a set of two Neutrogena makeups, uh, healthy skin liquid makeup. Uh, the two of them together sold for $20. This is an Olympus A911 power supply. This sold for $13. And the last and the best sale of the weekend, this is a Luxo vintage lamp. It has the magnifying glass in it, lights up, works pretty well. Um, this sold for $100. But the thing is, this sold for $100 with free shipping, so, uh, and it's pretty heavy. So I probably will only make about maybe 60 on this sale. We'll see. Hopefully it's sold to uh, somebody in Oregon or California. I think Haley just chewed a pill that was not supposed to be chewed. To you were supposed to chew it? I don't know. Was it non chewable? No, it's, not, oh, it's chewable. Okay, it's just really gross then. Oh. Alright, so we're right outside Oregon. No, we're right outside Portland right now, uh, heading towards Mount Hood to uh, this trailhead to this trail area called Burnt Lake. Um, yeah, we stopped at a gas station to get some food for the trail, which is never a good spot to get food for the trail, but uh, got a uh, cliff bar and then some trail mix. Maybe we'll need to know about all of it. And uh, just some combos, which are really not for the trail. Um, hey. Yeah, th this hike is a six mile hike, which is one of the longer ones that we've done. So we needed to make sure to, uh, to, to get food so we wouldn't get uh, like too tired in the center of it. Look at these. Hum. All right, Cheddar. I think they all, all these taste exactly the same. That one doesn't really have much flavor. I don't know. Okay, hit the road again. Uh, you can barely see it. Uh, Mount Hood's up there, and it looks it looks pretty cool. Uh, at least different than having snow on it right now. Alright, we're nearing the trailhead, probably about 10 minutes, 10 miles. Um, I just wanted to say that Mabel is doing an excellent job so far on this trip. I don't want to speak too soon, but I don't know, just, it's just so nice to have her and not uh, be crying as soon as we get to a beautiful area. Alright, we made it to the road that has the Burnt Lake Trailhead, and as you can hear, Mabel is uh, not being too good, but overall, it's been a better trip than normal. Oh, oh big holes. holes. It's real yeah, it's real pretty in there. This is Lost Creek right now. Lost Creek, okay. 
Yeah, real dense. Got a little over a half mile. Um, pulled over to try to get a picture real quick. I don't know. As I was driving past, it looked cool. We'll see if it actually translates. You stay in the car, pup. So we were hoping that we would be the only people here, but it's exposure, right? It is, uh, this area is not too big for parking, but there's like five cars that way and one car behind us. Not too bad. Come here, come here, come here. Can I you? Come here. Aw, poor baby. Do you want me to do it? Baby, I can't reach it. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny, this is sad. But it, it's fun. it doesn't it, taste bad. We've it tried like it. It like coconut oil, which is her favorite. Yep. Come here. Okay. Hey, you stay. Go on. It's okay. Hey. It's not a big deal. She really persisted on not getting it this time. There you go. Good girl. Now I know you don't want to hear these words, but back in the car. Just for a sec. Chex Mix. And we stopped at Del Taco. First time we've ever had Del Taco. It's okay. I'm just going to eat my taco right now. Okay. Mabel, hey, you need to drink some water. We're going on a long hike. She's not going to drink. Good drink. Okay, so this time we got something special. Let's see, where did I put it? This is something that I've had for a while. but I've always forgot to bring it on hikes. But now I put it in my camera bag and it's very likely that if we're gonna be on a hike, that we're gonna bring the camera. It's a bear bell. Put it on your bag. Let's bears know you're coming. I don't wanna cross a glacial stream. Oh, we will? I don't know. Huh. I'm not, probably. Yeah, I don't know about that bear bell. You can handle that for six miles. Nope. Yeah, getting rid of that. Have to fill out these uh, trail use permits just because a uh, somewhat dangerous area and if something happens to us, they need to know who is in this woods. All right, you ready? Yep. What else can we make you jump on, Mabel? Water bottle is leaking. Uh, mm. Screwed on tight enough? It's not leaking bad. You got me all tangled up. Hey, were you going up there? Up here? Yeah. Here. Let's go up here again. Come on, get up here. Get up here. Let's go. Uh -oh. So fun. <laughs> it's like a playland. This is a somewhat fresh tree felling. See the big hole that it made? A lot of this still looks almost alive. Like we've got, huh? Yeah. It's like the trail comes to a creek. I'll do some creek crossing.
Alright, from there to there to there to there, and then I'm going to jump the remaining 10 feet to Haley. There to there to there to there, and here we go! God. I got here. You see that jump? That was very graceful. This is a pretty cool, just monstrous tree, and the whole inside is burnt. And if you look even closer, there's uh, people that scratch their initials and, and names and stuff into the, the char. I'll uh, see if Haley will stand next to this tree to show you scale. See? Monster tree. Pretty hard to read, but you got H plus J. Now, isn't that cute? There are so many of these trees that are burnt from the inside out. This is so cool. I always thought it'd be like lightning that strikes and it slowly burns from the inside out, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to uh, look it up when I get home. Cause this is not the, I mean, this is like the 10th one. Oh, Haley just said there's another one. Yep. Wow. Wow. You getting a drink, Mabel? Okay. No. Okay. And another water crossing. This is the third one. This is all glacier runoff from the top of the mountains. So if I feel it, it should be, yeah, very cold. Some would say ice cold. It is quite a far drop off just right there. And it sounds like there's a, a rushing river down there. Definitely some uh, faster moving water. All right, while we're taking just a little bit of a break, I'm gonna eat um, nothing better than Del Taco in the woods. All right, let's go. What are you doing, Leaf? Ooh. Starting to get up pretty high. Oh, that's just blown out there. I was just talking about the view over there. Check out this view. Check out this one. Let's get this exposed correctly, and then, yeah, look at her. Nice mountain. No snow. Yeah. yeah. See a few snow pits in certain areas, but yeah. It's real neat. I assume we are getting close. Sign says no campfires within a half mile of lake. It's not so much that this is a hard trail. I think it's actually rated easy, um, but it's just the incline. It's unrelenting, just like 20 to 40 degrees, just nonstop. So you're constantly just, just walking up. Um, yeah, pretty close to the lake, I think. Nice. No, we've never been here. The lake you're thinking about maybe is Mir Lake. There's supposed to be a good view of Mount Hood from somewhere on the lake, but we haven't seen it yet. We uh, I think we started on the other side. We're just looping around. Um, should we try to go this way? That'd be the way. Is it muddy? Yep. Hey Mabel, what's this? Watch how she swims back. Mabel, come back, don't get too far. Hey, come back. She's all right. She's going really 
for? Mabel. Here. Mabel, come on. Mabel, come here. Come here. She's looking for that rock. Yeah, I'm not going to find it. Come here. She's just not a very good swimmer. I worry about her. Hey, Mabel, come on. Come here. What is that noise? Does have water in her nose? Mabel! <laughs> oh, fell off. And we could tell just a little further down that Mount Hood's starting to show her face. And uh, this is it. This is big. So because it's such a sunny day, I'm going to do what's called bracketing. And it's just taking three pictures of the same thing. One is slightly underexposed, one's exposed correctly, one's a little bit overexposed. See if I can get a somewhat decent picture. mile hike at the Burnt Lake. Done. It was, a good, it was a good hike. My feet are really tired though. 